in this module we will talk about the fed batch kinetics in previous modules when we talk about the type of fermentations on the base of the process we discussed three different types batch culture fed batch culture and continuous culture so previous modules deal with about uh, we can say that batch culture kinetics but now we will discuss in detail that what are the changes happened during fed batch culture the fed batch culture first of all introduced by jishida et al 1973 so the fed batch can be defined as the culture which are fed continuously or sequentially with the medium without the removal of the culture fluid so in which harvest can be done we can say that uh, the harvest can be at the end during the incubation period we can add some nutrients which can be either ut uh, fully utilized by the organism or partially utilized by the organism but in batch culture which we called as the closed system but fed batch culture can be called as the open system in which we can uh, we have the provision to add some nutrients after the inoculation so when we say that the addition of the medium into the fermentation medium during the fermentation process so there can be a uh, four different strategies can be used for the feeding in the fermenter vessel as concern the first strategy the first strategy deals with the same medium as we use before inoculation the start medium so we add the medium with the same concentration with the same ratio into the fermenter vessels suppose if we say that if any growth medium or if any fermentation medium consist upon two or three different ingredients in different proportion so we will add during the fed batch with the same concentration but in second strategy we will not use all the ingredient so if we know during the fed batch that any specific medium or a nutrient will be exhausted either become the limiting due, which, due to which the growth or other process will be affected then we only add those substrate which we called as limiting substrate which can limit our process so in second strategy we use only those substrate which we called as the limiting substrate but the condition having the same concentration as mentioned in the initial medium so in first strategy all the ingredient but in the second strategy only the limiting substrate with same concentration but in third strategy all those as i mentioned in strategy 1 and strategy 2 but with concentration with high concentrated volume so by this we can add either the whole medium or the limiting substrate in a concentrating form as concern the fourth strategy that only deals with very highly concentrated addition of the substrate we can say that we add the substrate in a solid form but that is very difficult to add during the fermentation process we can say a highly concentrated solutions of those in order that will not affect the volume of the substrate so if we add 
or if we feed the fermentation according to first three strategy, we can easily say that the volume of the fermenter will be raised. But in fourth strategy, when we use highly concentrated substrate, then there will be a change in the volume very negligible. So, the fed batch system as concern the first, second and third strategy that can be dealt in a variable volume. But as concern the strategy 4 that will be deal with fixed volume. Why we are saying with the variable volume as well as the fixed volume? Because when we talk about the fermentation kinetics, volume has a critical effect when we talk about the concentration of the biomass with respect to time, concentration of the substrate, concentration of the product. So if the volume remains fixed, then the kinetic parameters will be different as compared to the fermentation in which the volume will be variable. So, the use of the strategy, either first, second and third, and then are a fourth strategy, we should be clearly mentioned either the fed batch culture in a variable volume or a fed batch kinetics in fixed volume. Because as we know that in the batch culture kinetics, in a batch culture fermentation, when we say that is a closed system, no change in the volume. So all other changes can easily be discussed. But when there is a change in the volume in the fermentation vessels, either gradually or subsequently, then different parameters can be studied differently. So as concerned the fat batch, in daily routine we can have so many examples. So fat batch culture in practice can be run either by filling the fermentation vessel with the little volume and then gradually we will increase by addition of that and then we are used to add the materials until and unless we have the maximum utilization of the fermentation vessel. So, in later modules we will see about that how different parameters can be affected in variable volume as well as the fixed volume.